Welcome back. In this video, you will be learning beginner OLL. So let's get to it. First, you need to make it so that you have two opposite oriented two colored pieces. All right. So I see, for example, one two colored pieces here that's oriented. However, the one opposite of it is not really oriented. So how can I make it so that I have two opposite oriented two colored pieces? Well, I see this was misoriented. So I can maybe do an F to move them down, and then R to move them up. Then I move this irrelevant one down here, move R prime, then U prime, and then F prime. So basically I did F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, if you want to know the algorithm. So now I have two, I have two opposite oriented two color pieces. Now Let's rotate the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube four-dimensionally so that they're like this. They're sort of vertically aligned. All right. Now, let's work on these last four two-colored pieces. So let's get to it. Do you recognize this case from your Rubik's Cube knowledge? This looks like sort of the L case here. The F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. See, easy. So now, all of our two colored pieces are oriented. See how I did that? Two opposite oriented two colors, and then I do the last four. How do we go about the three colored pieces? First, rotate the four dimensional Rubik's Cube down, like that, so that your last face is in the middle. And, Position the, the four-dimensional Rubik's Cube so that there is this unoriented three-color piece in this slot that's highlighted. All right? Right here, the, the FR edge of the inner cell. Now, I want you to do this algorithm. See this left edge here? Click on him. Now, click on the left edge of this cell. Here. Here. And then do that again. One two, three, four. You're basically clicking this sort of F, L edge here on these cells. Like that's the only sticker you're clicking. You're, stick, you're clicking the left front um, edge on these cells. And then you're doing that in the middle, left, middle, right, and then middle, left, middle, right again. All right. Middle, left, middle, right. Middle, left, middle, Right, and you do that until your three color piece right here on FR is oriented. So now he's oriented, so maybe I can move him here now. Middle, left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right. I do that again until he's oriented. Middle, right, middle, left, middle, right. And see, he's oriented too. Move him in. All right, once you have basically oriented all the three colors on this sort of ring here, move him down in another way. This one's already oriented, so I move, let's say, this guy in. All right, middle, left, middle, right. He's there. I can maybe move this guy in. Middle, left, middle, right. There you go. Let's move another, another misoriented decolor piece like this one in this FR slot of our inner cell. Same algorithm. Repeat it until you get it oriented. Like that. And him as well. And there you go. So... So these four top ones are oriented. These four middle ones are also oriented. And these four bottom ones here are also oriented. So yeah, you've basically oriented both the two colors and the three colors of your last face. Now let's put them back up. There. Okay. What do we do now? What you want to do is basically you want to position 
your four color pieces so that they're sort of symmetrical like this. Symmetrical e across from each other. Alright, you know what I mean? Such as, like here, I could do this to make them symmetrical. Like two of the blues next to each other. Um, I want to find an example where this wouldn't be right. Let me rotate the four dimensional Rubik's Cube. Ooh, here it is. This, see these two colored, see these four colored pieces here? These two are not symmetrical. See? If they were symmetrical, then they would look like they would have their blues next to each other. Or, they would have their blues opposite of each other like this. Alright? So basically, make it so that you have two four color pieces that either have their blues opposite of each other or adjacent to each other like this. Alright? So once you find that, position your one of your four color pieces on the um, UFR corner. Then use RKT for the R prime, D prime, R D. All right. So R prime, move the D here. D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and just repeat that until this is oriented. Then you move your U face so that your other four color pieces there. Then you do the R prime, D prime, R D over and over again until it too is oriented. There you go. See? Let's find another example. I see these two four color pieces are maybe two twists away from like being paired up. And you see that? I don't use this twist here, but I basically use a twist that would basically cause this face to like turn and not, you know, completely disconnect from our last face. You get it? I use a turn that would cause this thing to like spin around. See? See how he spins clockwise as I do that? You want to do those type of moves in order to connect your four colored pieces. Then, once you pair them up like this, they're symmetrical as they're adjacent. Do the R prime D prime R D with RKT of course. So your first one is oriented. And once he's oriented, move the U face so that your second four colored piece is there. And just repeat that. R prime, D prime, R, D. See that? Now, when you get to your last four color pieces, just gonna move that back. When you get to your last four color pieces, you may see something like this. All right? They're like asymmetrical. If that's the case, maybe I could put this guy here. All right. I sort of have one of those cases where a corner would be incorrectly oriented somewhere. There's, there's sort of this parity. But no worries. If you have that parity, just orient it as you would. So just R prime, D prime, R, D. And then once your first corner is oriented, basically move your other four color piece and just do that same thing again, the R prime D prime R D. And wow, this is a tricky case. Maybe I'm supposed to do that yeah, a couple more times, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. Alright. I was a little tripped up there. So, it seems like we have this parody case, where we only have one last rotated corner. Now, you can't have one single rotated corner with the rest of the 4D cube solved, but that's because one of our four color pieces has these three, these three twisted corners here. So what you want to do is just have your four color piece sort of like adjacent to the center, with the blue piece not, you know, on the center, and then... Like, try to corner twist the four color piece next to it. And then do the R prime D prime R D for this one until it's oriented. And after you're done, move your second four color piece in. 
just do that again. Move that back. And undo your corner twist. See? There you go. So, we have oriented our last face of the 40 Rubik's Cube. Beginner Awello. If you have any questions, ask them all in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more 40 puzzles. And I'll see you in the next video.